If you turn with me in the Bible to Genesis chapter number 12. Genesis 12. Reading from verse 1. It says, Now the Lord had said unto Abram, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee. And I'll make of thee a great nation, and I will what? Bless thee. And make thy name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. And I'll bless them that bless thee. And curse him that curseth thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be what? Be blessed. What, what, what do you notice about this passage? It has everything to do with a blessing. But the thing that you might not even take note of, which is a little bit hidden in the passage, is the mystery of the instruction. Is the mystery of what? The instruction. Verse 1 reveals the instruction. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, number one. And number two, from thy kindred. Number three, from thy father's house. Unto a land that I will show thee. Please hear me. The first one was to get out. The second was to get in. The first instruction was to get out. The second instruction was to get in. <laughs> he knew where to get out from. But he did not know where to get into. So, complete dependence upon the Lord as regards where to enter, where to go to was absolutely needed. I can get out of a place because I know the place where the Lord says get out from. But can I go into the place where the Lord says I should go into? The only way I can get in there is to know that he has said go in here because there are many places to go to. So in life, if we are not sensitive, we might not be able to do what the Lord will have us to do to get the blessings that we should get. Because please take note, the blessings will only come when the instructions have been obeyed. If you read the next verse, verse 2, and I will make of thee, what? A great nation. And I will bless thee. And make thy name great. Somebody say, who does all this? Who does all this? Your effort cannot make you great. You cannot bless yourself. You can't bless yourself. I bless myself. I bless myself. It takes somebody to bless you. Can I say this here? Your confessions must be tied to what he who blessed you has said. Let me take you through a little bit of some scriptures to push this to a good understanding. I said in this house, thank God we have barrister here. <laughs> when a man is jailed or when a man is put in prison, taken into custody 
by the police. Does he bail himself? Can he bail himself? Even if he, before he was put in the prison, was the commissioner of police, can he bail himself? Who bails him? Somebody else. Tap your neighbor gently and say, you can't bail yourself. Somebody must bail you. So every time you find yourself in a predicament, such as if you have been locked up in a situation, it takes grace for somebody else to pull you out. Now also, when it has to do with a curse and a blessing, it takes for somebody else to bless you. And it takes also for somebody else to curse you. And this person that blesses you or curses you must be spiritually higher than you. For them to bless you or for them to curse you. Now the mystery to life is we either provoke a blessing or provoke a curse based on our actions and our activities. It is what we do that determines whether we are blessed or we are what? Cursed. It must take somebody to release that blessing because that person has been prompted, provoked by an action from another person to release a blessing or to release what? A curse. God did not show up to Abraham and say, Abraham, you are blessed. Abraham, if you can do these three things, I will bless thee. I will bless thee. Could it be that we are not manifesting the blessings because the things that we should have done, we have not done. Let me take us through the scriptures again. Chapter 12, verse 1 again. Someone say, get thee out. How many places? How many places? Three places. The first place is what? Get thee out of thy country. The second one? Get thee out from amongst your kindred. The third one? Father's house. Do you know it would have been possible for him to get out of his father's house and still remain in the country? He will be staying with one of his kindred but not in his father's house. Will you say the obedience is complete? Huh? No. Number two, he could get out of his father's house, get out of from the, his kindred, his brothers and sisters, his relations, and still remain in the country. <laughs> Will the blessing manifest? So, until he fulfills the three, the blessings will not drop. And Abraham did it. 